one of the real limits on human thinking is the small size of the short-term memory, the amounts of things we can keep into it, uh, in attention. Well, size in terms of what units. Well, it turns out that uh, if I have, say, some random letters, X, Y, G, V, each of those is a unit, and I can keep about seven of those in my short-term memory. But if I have seven words, dog, cat, mouse, rat, and so on, I can keep about seven of those in memory. I can keep seven chunks, where seven chunks mean seven familiar things. And now there's been an enormous amount of experimentation which supports the idea that the basic unit of memory is not a bit uh, or not a letter or something arbitrary. It's a familiar unit. So when we talk about uh, an expert l having to store a lot of stuff, we usually say he has to store 50,000 chunks or more. That is, if it's a chessboard again, or let's take medical diagnosis, if it's a physician, he has to store 50,000 cues of things he can notice or learn from a test or do or, or, or the like uh, that give him access to his information about medical science. As your chunks grow larger in any field, you see more. So if we put a chess grandmaster in front of a chessboard for five seconds, a chessboard with an actual game displayed on it for five seconds, and then take it away and ask him to reproduce it, then the master can do that almost without air, 95% for 25 pieces. If you put a novice there, somebody who plays chess or even a weekend chess player, they'll replace five or six pieces or seven. For them, a piece is a chunk. For the grandmaster, whole collections of pieces are chunks. And so the board doesn't consist of 25 pieces, it consists of a half a dozen chunks. Now, if you take that same board and arrange it at random, then the master is hardly better than the, than the uh, amateur player, seven or eight pieces, which shows that it's nothing about the eyes. The grandmaster doesn't have sharper eyes than the other. It has to do with the chunks that have been stored in memory through years and years of looking at chess boards. And you can run the experiment on yourself in any field where you happen to have knowledge. If you're a bridge player or a poker player, you can remember hands bridge that other people can't remember. Uh, if you're a physician, you'll remember collections of symptoms. 